this is Hitesh Sharma and in this video we will be solving few questions on Faraday's law. So let us start with the first one. Uh, in the first question the radius of circular coil of n turns increases by x meter per second. You have to find the induced EMF when radius is equal to R naught. Okay. So external magnetic field is out of the plane of paper it is given so we will write down first of all flux flux will be b into pi r square implies d phi by dt on differentiating it we will get b into pi 2 r dr by dt so this is given as x the rate of change in radius is given as x and the value of radius is r0. So it will become b into 2 pi into 2 r0 into x. So that is the flux, rate of change in flux which is equal to the EMF induced. Now let us talk about the direction. As radius is increasing, so the flux is increasing and field is outward. So we can say the induced field must be inward b induced must be into the plane of paper for that the current should be in clockwise direction okay so i induced will be in clockwise direction or we can also say that the induced emf is clockwise moving on to the next question a circular loop is rotated by 180 degree from its initial angle between a and b external as 0 in time delta t okay so we are assume we are in the question it is given that the initial angle between b and a is 0 and it is rotated by 180 degree in time delta t so first of all we have to find change in flux initial flux is b a cos 0 so that will be plus b a and final flux will be b a cos 180 degree as the final angle is cos uh, 180 degree so it will be minus b a so we can say change in flux delta phi will be equal to final minus initial so that will be minus 2 b a this minus this will be minus 2 b a and the emf induced will be minus 2 b a by delta t which is by definition minus delta phi by delta t so this negative sign will be taken care of so the emf induced will be 2 b a by delta t that will be the answer okay In the next question flux is changed by delta phi in a loop of resistance r we have to find the charge pass through it and we have to also comment on whether this charge passed is dependent on time or not. Okay. So we can say the average EMF induced, let the time taken be delta t. So the average EMF induced is change in flux by time taken. So that is I average into R. So the average current, average current will be delta phi by delta t into 1 by r and the charge passed q passed can be written as i average into delta t so it will be delta phi by delta t into 1 by r into delta t so delta t will cancel each other so we can say q passed is simply delta phi by delta r delta phi by r and it is independent of independent of time no matter how fast or how slow you change the flux the charge pass will be this okay but yes emf induced or the current the value of current is dependent on time okay but not the charge passed in the next question there is a disc there is a circular loop 
whose initial position is such that angle between area vector and magnetic field is zero and it is rotated about an axis which is perpendicular to b with an angular velocity omega we have to find phi as a function of t and uh, emf induced as a function of t so let's start with phi phi is b a cos of angle between them so the angle covered in time t will be omega t omega into t is the angle covered in time t or the angle by which the disc is or the circular loop is rotated so it will be b a cos omega t and by differentiating it d phi by dt we get with a minus sign to get emf induced the answer will be b a sin omega t into omega this is the function i have already solved it b omega sin omega t this is the magnitude of the emf and this is the varying function so this is the maximum value of emf and this is the frequency with which it will oscillate so if we will draw sin and cos graphs on similar scales the this this will be graph of flux as a cos graph and let's draw a sin graph this will be graph of sin because emf induced is a sin function so this the important point is to be noticed when phi is zero emf induced is maximum okay when emf induced is zero flux is maximum in value magnitude of flux is maximum we are talking about magnitudes okay so when one is zero another is maximum when another is zero one is maximum okay this is an important point to be noted